Crime in the Kansas City Fire Department has grown at four times the rate of emergency calls. That number is one of many issues a consulting firm found while digging into the overtime issue. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock first looked into this problem months ago. So Andy, what did you find out today? Rhiannon and Mike, along with that outside firm, the city has also been looking at ways to curb the growth in fire department overtime. As we first reported in April, overtime more than tripled from $5 million in 2010 to $16 million in the last budget. A consulting firm looked at the issue and offered some ideas. They include staffing changes on where and what time emergency crews are needed. Another idea is to require written permission for overtime to evaluate why it's needed. The study also found there are some minor instances when overtime was paid but not required. Fire Chief Paul Berardi told a council committee today one issue has been the city has been short paramedics. With vacation, downtime, illnesses and injuries, overtime has exploded to handle that relief time. He says 31 of them have been hired in the last three months and nine more candidates are in training. That just gets us to the, the, to the normal staffing, what, what it takes to staff every day. So we're still going to have that relief factor issue. And uh, also there's, uh, in addition to the consultant's review, Chief Berardi found uh, that he's been working with the uh, city's Office of Performance Management to address that overtime issue. Uh, he's scheduled to give his own presentation to that council committee in a couple of weeks. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Andy, thank